Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Potato Chief. And I'm out of frame. Hang on. Uh, uh. Hey, guys. Potato Chief here. Welcome to my first ever video of Would You Rather? So I have to pick between two things. You've, you've probably seen other YouTubers do this before, you know, like Mark Septakai and Jack Applier and all those, you know, all those good ones, all those good YouTubers. And then now you're gonna, now you've been demoted to me doing it. So there you go. Anyway, welcome to Would You Rather. So we're gonna pick between two different things. Let's do this. Would I rather win a five thousand dollar shopping spree in any store? Or win a 10 day free vacation at any destination. Right, so there's a couple of things about this. A, I live in the UK, so would I be able to spend the $5,000? Would I be able to transfer, change it into pounds? So would it be like £4,000 or whatever? I don't know the exact. Uh, hang on. Siri, how much is $5,000 in pounds? Okay, so about three thousand, three thousand eight hundred pounds at any store. Right, so they say, but that's another thing. It says at any store. Could I say the Pokemon store in Japan? Because that gets me to Japan. It's not thinking. Or can I spend the five thousand pounds like a Thomas Cook, so I can buy like, which is a uh, travel agent. And buy myself a 10, uh, ten day vacation to Japan. Uh, I also, uh, uh, if I'm going for the vacation, it's going to. I'm, hang on, if I go for the vacation, it's it's Japan I'm going to. So we're just going to put that out. I'm going to Akihabara. I'm going to be playing some. Because uh, I'm a massive weeb, so we're going for that. Uh, oh, money. See, either way, I could either I could t I could get the money and go into, go to Japan. I. I, I I said this in a previous video, I don't give a shit about actual, like, monetary stuff. I mean, the experience of going to Japan is more worth it to me. So I'm gonna go with vacation. Most people agree with me! That's, that's a good sign! What do you guys think? Uh, comment below what your answer would have been. Next question! If it loads. Oh no, it's crashed! A few moments later... Would you rather have the ability to teleport or be able to travel time? That's hard. That is really difficult. Hmm. If I could travel through time, I could travel to the future where they've invented teleportation. So I could I could teleport in the future anyway. Plus if I were, if I could time travel, I could go back in time, tell myself to save money or to start doing coding or whatever so I could be, be in a better position. I could start doing YouTube 10 years earlier, even though YouTube was just started back then, but you know what I mean. Hmm. I'm, I'm on the side of time travel here, but teleport is great. I, I, I would love to be able to teleport. That's like something that I've always dreamed of because I hate, I hate long flights. I flew to Australia a couple times. That's a 24 hour f flight, which is three, uh, three seven hour flights broken up with two hour layovers in each place, which is killer. Which doesn't quite add up to 24 hours, I don't think. Not quite, but it, it is about that long. It takes about that long to travel. Plus, you've got a four hour bus trip to the, to the, to the airport. And then, oh, jeez. Anyway, I hate traveling. It takes too fucking long. So teleport, it would be so useful, I could just teleport to Japan again. We've already mentioned Japan, I'll go to Japan again. Because uh, I'm a fucking weeb. Oh, see, I love traveling, and it'd be so cool to teleport. Plus, uh, you know, long-term relations, like, long-distance relationships wouldn't be an issue anymore. That'd be cool. Um, shit, I don't know. That's really hard, actually. Fuck. Uh, I'm going to go with... Time travel because I could have, I could go to the future and get a I go to the future and get a, a teleport machine. Also, I can go back in time and get a sports almanac and, <laughs> and go all Biff Tannen on this shit and fucking become a million multi millionaire. Yeah, time travel, Biff Tannen, totally. Fifty fifty, that's really close. 
Uh, teleportation's winning. Jokes on you, I'm gonna be fucking rich. I'm gonna invent teleportation with my millions of, of gambling money earnings. Here comes the money! Here we go! Money talk! Here comes the money! Money, money, money! <laughs> Would you rather have no firms or only firms? I'm assuming it said, you say only firms, do you mean only firms instead of fingers? Or do you mean you are a firm person? You're all firms. Because I don't know, that's not very clear, right? I'm going to assume that you mean hands with firms all over them. Which is, fuck yeah, I'll take that. Because then that makes me such an, I'll be such an MLG pro gamer with that, with that many firms. I mean, I don't know, it might be a bit tricky. Controller wise. You know, I don't know. Firms are great. Without firms, we wouldn't be able to do a load of load of stuff, like gaming. Like firms are great. Fingers, not so much. So, because you know, double jointed us. That's what makes us mammals. That's what makes us fucking great as a species. That's why. Well, apart from we can get into science now. The human race took over the planet with firms because we have firms and we also have the power of communication. We can talk to each other and stuff like that. But firms are a huge part. So, firms. I'll have only firms, please. I might be the only one, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. Oh, oh, most people, the, the, the percentages seem weird on this one. Most people say have no firms. Well, I guess I'm weird, because firms are great. Firms, without firms, you can't do jack shit. So, it's better to have more, too many firms than no firms, because they're really important. They're actually really important if you if you know anything about human biology. So yeah, so firms. Team, I'm team firms. Hashtag team firms. Would you rather listen to everything but your favorite music artists, or listen to e only your favorite music artists? Oh, okay. What? There's one. Oh shit, that's tough. I don't really have a favorite music artist. I like lots of different types of music. I'm quite an eclectic person. My taste, my tastes change so often. <sighs> I mean, my favorite bands are Queen, uh, Tenacious D, Red Hot Chili Peppers, and Foo Fighters. Probably would be those four. And I recently got back into Linkin Park quite a lot since Chester died. R.I.P. Chester. Um, I don't know. I can't. I I don't have one favorite band. Plus, I've got a quite eclectic taste. I like lots of different things. So, I think I would go with listen to everything but your favorite, my favorite eyes. So, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, it's like, this is not my favorite song ever. I love it so much. And then I, and then I just, just, it just stops me listening to it. I think that's what it means. But, nevertheless, I like listening to lots of different stuff. I'm quite an eclectic person. I like, I like rock music. I like hip-hop music. I like a bit of Jay-Z, Kanye bit of Ed Sheeran sometimes, you know, like Linkin Park, fucking Metallica. I can't listen to one type of music too much. I like, like, but you know, I like all sorts of crap. So, and I love cheesy music as well, like Gangnam Style. I'll still listen to that sometimes, and it's sad that that's not... I'm going off a tangent here, but it's, it's sad that that's no longer the most viewed video of all time on YouTube to me, but that's just me. Anyway, yeah, listen to everything but my favorite artist. Oh wow! Everyone, no one agrees with me on that one. I guess a lot of people just like one musician and just listen to their stuff constantly. I get, I would get bored if I, to be honest. I love all those artists, as I said earlier: Tenacious D, Queen, Foo Fighters. I would get bored if I just listened to Red Hot Chili Peppers. I, I would get bored if I just listened to their songs all the time. Like I'll go through a stage of binging a certain artist, and then I'll get bored and I'll go on to someone else. I like lots of different types of music. So, I'm shocked at that one. I actually thought everyone would agree with me on that one, but I guess not. Unless people just didn't think about it, it just clicked. I don't know. I really thought I'd be in the majority on that one. We're going to go for one more question. The final question. The most important question. I'm building this up. It's going to be swing shit now. But this is the final question. Da -da -da -da. Ba -da -da -ba -ba. Hurry up! A 
as a as a gentleman, would you rather paint your nails or wear high heels? That's a rubbish question. We had really good questions at the start. They just got just down the toilet. This has. Okay, so paint nails, wear heels. Uh, I would paint my nails because you're less likely to see them. Plus, wearing heels, I'm, I, I've heard not not any past experience in this. I've heard wearing heels are very awkward. So I'm gonna go with painting your nails. As if it's like toenails, you, no one would see them because I'd be wearing shoes. So, yeah, painting nails. Waiting for the results to come in. 62% agree with me! Thank God. So that's it, guys. What do you do think of my answers? Do you, do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you want the sports almanac or not? I want the sports almanac. I want us to go to Japan. That's just me. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and if you want this again, this is this is a uh, something I wanted to try out. I thought it would be a cool idea for a video. Uh, yeah, if you like this, let me know in the comments below. And until next time, laters, bye bye. So long. Bye. Keith Gore says, "Holy mother of shit! Don't dance ever again." You know the boss of me. Maya, Maya, Maya.